Alright, GRF. Uh, back on the mini show. Uh, one I started yesterday. Uh, here's the growth. As you can see, there's two different colors on it. It's like a bluish gray, and then there's like like a black gray okay and also if you can get it to zoom in right look on the bottom the anode is touching the metal and I don't know if I can get around and get you to see through the cloud there but the cathode is also touching the metal and as you can see the power supply is still running uh, it has a 3 amp uh, reset which when the NO when the positive and the negative uh, come into contact it'll automatically uh, cut that off uh, in earlier experiments uh, with a coffee pot that kind of got the metal band around the top I accidentally touched the metal band with both uh, leads and uh, it automatically cut off uh, <clears throat> Excuse the noise that's fixing to occur. My wife is home and uh, it's fixing to come through the garage, I believe. Which is where my cell's set up at. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the theory behind this. Uh, but I just wanted to say that uh, Mystic Kobe, you was right on that aspect uh you know the cell doesn't have to be emptied uh and it can run continuously uh and for that matter as you can see you ain't even got to worry about the anode and cathode touching the metals you can just pile up on top of it i guess um <coughs> but uh <coughs> just want to take in uh get back to uh, kind of the theory of it um, back to what GSP was uh, stating uh, about the uh, chloride part of it uh, And that's the wife coming in. Uh, but back to the theory on it. Uh, the blue, I believe, is the chloride. I'm not sure. Don't quote me. It's just theory. Uh, I'm thinking that maybe the reason why this works is because of the way that the states of the silver are being introduced into the cell. Uh, we know from the previous video that when the cell first starts that it's fresh tap water which uh, like everybody else is saying you know it probably does have a nice little bit of uh, chlorine level in it um, so uh, it's coming off as uh, some type of uh, collodial chloride maybe or the collodials making uh, chloride after a while and then the chloride after you stir is uh, being converted back by uh, making contact with the cathode as you stir uh, maybe it's getting its electrons back I don't know that's just uh, 
some of my theory on it. Uh, I mean, how many people have taken uh, silver chloride and collodial chloride or collodial silver and uh, regular silver and uh, silver oxide and just thrown it all in, in, in a mix to see what the outcome is. I've not seen anybody post anything about it, so I'm assuming nobody has. Uh, could be wrong. Um, but just pretty much wanted to share my actual theory on what's going on in here. Uh, like my videos uh, if you like them. If you don't, I uh, I ain't got no hard feelings. I'm just trying to share some knowledge. Uh, it's just my thoughts, I guess. Uh, starting to ramble. <laughs> I just run. Uh, I have rapid thoughts. My mind's one place, and I'm trying to think about something else. Uh, but. As you can see, maybe in the small cell, it's collecting pretty, pretty rapidly compared to the bigger cell. And my thoughts on that is that in the bigger cell, the current uh, has to travel further and through more uh, liquids. But I could be wrong. Um, the acid test uh, I'm going to do here uh, shortly I ain't going to do it in this video because uh, I don't have my powders poured off yet uh, plan on doing that as soon as I get done with this but uh, I'm hoping to get a response from uh GSP before that on, on that question I had uh, on what the outcome may be with the if it is silver oxide um, by adding the hydrochloric acid uh, if he don't by the time I get ready then I'll just make the video and we'll find out together but uh I just wanted to make this one so everybody could see that I changed the variable. Uh, the only thing that I really changed uh, was that I pushed the anode and cathode to the bottom of the cell uh, so that they can make contact with the uh, silver that's coming off. And that the cell itself was smaller uh, I used fresh tap water and uh, the same cathode from the bigger cell that way the variable on that didn't change um, but pretty much that's about all there is uh, laser Steve uh, Harold V uh, if y'all are watching this video, uh, I sure would like to hear what y'all had to say about this. Uh, y'all ain't left, left no comments or nothing. Uh, I look up to y'all guys. Uh, y'all have uh, gave me a lot of knowledge. And uh, I'd just like to hear what y'all have to say. Uh, shout out to everybody. And uh, hope y'all like this video.